Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been using the great Divi Supreme plugin, which is a premium plugin, to pop up various things. You've got a button when you click on it, it'll pop up a video, etc. Really easy to do, and that's a fantastic feature. We had a great question. Somebody said, "Can you actually pop up a row?" And the simple answer is, yeah, you sure can. I've got a little button here. When I click on that, it's going to pop up a row that I've got saved there. Now, like I say, we're using Divi Supreme modules to do this today. You've got to have the pro version installed and activated to use this. So once installed, go down to Divi Supreme Pro, general settings. And you want to make sure you have enable Divi pop up switch to on so it's purple like that if not switch it to on and simply save your changes and we're ready to go let's go back and we'll start from scratch I'm going to enable the visual builder okay so the first thing I want to do is we want to pop up a row so we need to save a row or create a row that we want to actually pop up so let's use this one we've got that one already let's use this one down here blue tab for a section green tab for a row dark tab for a module what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure this row's got a bit of padding which has got a bit of padding on the top that's fine but it's got none on the sides i'm going to add just a bit for the sides before i save it and we can get rid of it afterwards so that the page doesn't change so let's save this row let's go in there going to go to design then spacing I'm going to put a bit of padding left and right let's give it say 20 pixels just so it's got a little bit just put the 20 in it'll put the picks in hit the chain it'll do the opposite side we'll save that now when I hover over you'll see we've got a bit of padding left and right as well as top and bottom if I hover over there now I want to make sure it's got a background so when it pops up over something that you'll be able to see it so I'm going to go into the row again, go to background, I'm going to make it the same color as the actual page itself, which is white, but I'm going to take the opacity down a bit. So if we're on top, when it pops out, you'll be able to see a little bit of the site just behind it when we're popping it out into its little light box there. So I'm going to take the opacity. I've just clicked on the white color. I'm just going to take the opacity down slightly. Okay, now what we need to do is save this row to our library. Little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. Click on it, we'll give it a name to call row and hit the save to library. Okay, once we've finished, we can take that padding back away from this one that's on the page. It won't change the one that's actually in the library. So we'll go back in there and just take that bit of padding away. It was in the spacing there. Just delete it because the chain is checked. It'll do both. And if you go into Divi and you do something with most of the settings, if you don't like what you've done, simply delete it and it will return to the default value for you. Great. So let's get rid of this button. And we'll start again. I'm using a button. You can pop up from pretty much any module you want. So I'm going to add a new button. Here it is. What do we want it to say? More info. Obviously, whatever you want your button to say. Link wise, don't even have to put in a link because we're going to use it as a pop up in a moment. So I'm going to pop it into the middle. I'm going to go over to design, alignment, I'm going to pop it into the middle. And let's just make it slightly different from those buttons above. So I'm going to go into button, use custom styles. Okay, text color, let's make it white. It'll disappear against the white background there. Button background, let's make it blue. And border, I'm not even gonna bother having a border. And let's change our button color on hover to purple. And common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing here, some icons will appear. If you've got an arrow like we have here, click on it, and you'll be able to set a desktop version which is what we've got there and a hover version which is the version when your mouse is on it 
for the hover I'm gonna make it purple great okay at this point I'm gonna save it hit the save I'm gonna save the page changes Once saved, I'm going to refresh the page because we've saved that row to the library. I need to refresh my page. So now we've refreshed, we can go back in there. Hit the little cog. Now remember, we enable this. If you haven't enabled this, this will not work. Let's go over to the advanced tab. And it's the same for all modules. Go down to visibility go down to use pop-up flip it to yes what do we want to flip what do we want to pop up we want a layout we want it from our Divi library what did we call it we call it two column row we want it to trigger on the module click in this case the module is actually a button you know if I was using a module that had a button I could flip it to button and you can do it with images, hyperlinks, page loads, scrolls, exit intents. But I'm going to just use module click anywhere on that button that they click, it'll do it. We want to have a close trigger outside the pop up, that's fine. We don't want to auto close because you can put in a time if you want it to auto close in a certain amount of time. Entrance and exit animations, there's plenty to choose from. I'm going to leave mine on the generic right there. Fade in, fade out. I want it to be in the center of our screen when our row pops up. I want its position to say absolute, so if they scroll, it's going to pretty much stay where it is. Don't want to use this full width because that will cover up the menu and the footer there. That's great for notifications and things, but not for today's. Max width, I'm going to up it from the generic 680 right there, which works for most things. I'm going to say 1100, which I think is the build size of my internal frames here. But put yours how you will, and it will work responsibly. I'll show you that in a minute. Show overlay, that'll darken out the background. You can choose your color. I'm going to leave mine on the generic again. Also, show a close button. Close button placement inside, that's fine. And here's your font for your close button. An X is pretty standard, but you can choose a different one if you prefer. Background color for your button and your icon. And we should be good to go. Let's save our changes here. We'll save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. Okay, and there we are. There's our little button down there with more info on it when I click on it. It's going to pop up that little row for us. It's got that little close button right there, or you can click outside and it'll get rid of it again. So there's how to pop up a row. And just to show you, uh, I'm using Google Chrome with the great inspector tools here. If I hit F12, I can show you it in responsive mode. If I toggle my responsive devices switch down there, this is uh, on an iPad. Let's make it 100%. Let's go on down, there's our little button. There's our little pop-up right there. And you can click on the little close button there. Or outside, it'll do the same thing. Let's have a look on an iPhone. Roll on down, there's our little button. There it is popping up. And that's why I did that little bit of opacity. You can see a hint of the website below it. And again, either click on the little X up there or outside to close it. So there you go, guys. There is how to pop up a row from a button using the great Divi Supreme modules. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.